Less than 1% of the population has this crazy rare body phenomenon, plus all sorts of other wild body anomalies. Find out just how rare you are. Hearts that don't follow the rules, two different size eyes, and what the heck's a Gorlin sign? Get ready to find out if you are truly one of the unique ones because today we are back at it for round two of breaking down some of the rarest body conditions and features on the planet. All right, let's dive right in. Number 10, the photo reflex. Do you sneeze when you look at the sun? You may not be alone in this oddity. It's been said that about one in four people will sneeze when they are exposed to direct sunlight or just a bright light in general. It's called autosomal dominant compelling helioophthalmic outburst syndrome. Don't ask me to say that again. Although researchers don't really know exactly why some people have this interesting reaction, some studies suggest that neurological signals are crossed between the trigeminal nerve, the thing that senses facial sensations, and the optic nerve. The optic nerve, although it has many jobs, is also in charge of constricting the eye's pupil to allow light to penetrate to the retina. Number nine, anisocoria. Have you ever been on a date gazing at the someone's eyes and thought to yourself, do they have two different sized pupils? Our next uncommon feature can be a rare thing that you are born with or a sign of something seriously going wrong. It's called anisocoria, AKA two different sized pupils. The pupil is actually the part of your eye that allows light to enter in so that you can see. About 20% of the world's population has anisocoria or one pupil that is larger than the other. This can be a very small difference or fairly large. For some, this condition is super benign, possibly genetic or just no big deal. For others though, anisocoria could be your body giving you a sign of something more serious and possibly even life-threatening going on. Number eight, Raynaud's syndrome. We've all been exposed to cold temperatures, right? Our next rare body feature is one that affects some of you out there, specifically when you're exposed to cold. It's seen in between five to 20% of women and between four and 14% of men. I even have it myself. When part of your body, usually fingers or toes, are exposed to low temperatures, they start to turn white or even blue in color. It's your body's overreaction to cold or distress. Smaller arteries that supply blood to the skin narrow. This limits blood flow to the affected areas, which is called a vasospasm. During an attack of Raynaud syndrome, affected areas of the skin usually turn pale first. Next, they often change color and feel cold and numb. Number seven, a taste aversion. Have you ever heard of cilantro? Or more specifically, cilantro taste aversion? Cilantro is an herb from the leaves of the coriander plant. It's used to cook different dishes, salads, curries, salsa, soup, etc. I bring this up not because I'm hungry, which I am, but rather because there are a whole lot of cilantro haters out there. But for a reason, there is a genetic variant in some of you watching this video where the olfactory receptor gene makes it so that you strongly perceive the soapy flavored aldehydes in the cilantro leaves. This cilantro taste aversion affects about 9% of the world's population out there. Number six, Gorlin sign. All right, let's find out if you're part of the 10% of folks. Stick out your tongue and try to touch your nose with it. Can you do it? If so, you, my friend, are part of the rare few that have the nose to tongue touching ability called Gorlin sign. To people in the medical field like myself, this could be a signal of other things going on in your body. For starters, Gorlin sign is seen in half the patients with Ehlers Danlos syndrome and systemic hypermobility. Hypermobility basically means your joints can move beyond the normal range of motion. Remember that other medical term I threw out a second ago? It's called EDS, a group of inherited disorders that affect your connective tissues, skin, joints, blood vessels, etc. It can cause things like bruising easily, body pain, heart murmurs, and even rupture to blood vessels. Not everyone who can do this cool party trick ends up having EDS. Number five, no wisdom teeth. Raise your hand if you have no wisdom teeth. If that's you, just know I am jealous. You my toothless friends, are part of the elite 35% of people out there that do not have any traces of their third and final molars. So why doesn't everyone have the extra chomps creeping in the back of their mouths? Well, they are known as vestigial structures. In other words, structures that have no apparent function and appear to be residual parts 
from a past ancestor. All this to say body parts that maybe once had a greater use, but in our modern life don't really serve that great of a purpose. Over time, humans no longer needed the extra grinding power that may have once been needed when our jaw bones were much larger. Do you have your wisdom teeth? Let me know in the comments. Number four, being ambidextrous. Maybe, just maybe, you are part of the super rare 1% that uses both left and right hands to perform tasks. The science around this subject is fascinating. There are several theories out there as to why people may be ambidextrous. Number one, genetics. A 2021 study found seven gene variants associated with this rare ability, and it's said to be more common in males than females. Number two reason, there could possibly be an imbalance in the coordination of the left and the right hemispheres of the brain. A third theory suggests that a good number of ambidextrous people are actually left-handers, not truly dual-handers. It's just that there is more of a cultural preference for right-handed folks. Can openers, for instance, tend to be crafted more for right-handed people. Number three rare condition, double hair whirl. Our next rare body feature only accounts for 5% of the population. It's called a double crown or a double hair whirl. You see, the highest point on the top of your head is often referred to as the crown. Your hairs that grow from this point on your scalp are arranged in a circular formation called a whirl. For most people, this whirl pattern grows in a clockwise pattern, while for some others, their uncommon hair growth world pattern grows in a counterclockwise pattern. For the super select extraordinary few, they have not one, but two exalted double crown. As far as the current research goes, the hair pattern on the top of your head doesn't really serve an underlying purpose. It has been noted that if your parents or family members have a double crown, you may be more likely to have this distinct feature as well. Number two, dystochiasis. Has anyone ever told you that you have a nice lush set of lashes? I'm talking about an interesting sort of naturally occurring eyelash type of extension that happens in about one in about 10,000 people. It's called dystochiasis. It's an uncommon condition that results in not one, but two rows of eyelashes on just one eyelid. Double rows of eyelashes are usually the result of a mutation of the FOXC2 gene that influences all kinds of tissue development in the embryo. While the lucky ones like Liz Taylor enjoy the benefits of her twin set of eyelashes, for some people with this condition, it really just results in double trouble. Symptoms can range from minor discomfort all the way up to eye injury and corneal complications where you may need to seek treatment with an eye doctor. Number one, dextrocardia. Picture this, you're a character in a video game and you find yourself in a close encounter battle with some shady villain type who are trying to finish you off with a direct hit to your heart. Lucky for you, you have a body anomaly where that finishing move wouldn't be as effective. It's called dextrocardia, and it's a rare heart condition in which real people are born with their heart positioned on the right side of the chest instead of its normal position on the left side. Normally, the heart is located fairly central beneath the breastbone but it does angle or protrude towards the left. But with those chosen few who have dextrocardia, their heart doesn't follow the pack and paves its own way toward the right side. So is dextrocardia dangerous? In fact, I've discovered a few in my own career. It didn't cause any other issues for them and they've lived a normal unsuspecting life. For others, the heart on the right side of the body can come with other heart and organ defects. So how rare is your body? Do you have any of these uncommon abilities or conditions? If you guys found this video interesting, make sure you binge watch this entire playlist right here and tell all your friends to subscribe, smack that like button, and turn your bell notifications on. As well, sign up for my email list for more cool medical topics. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.